everyone, this is Jessica with Longform Studio. Today I'm going to compare uh, two different types of gouache paint sets that I have. I'm going to start with the Karen Dash tablet style gouache and then I'm going to move into some details on this Himmy jelly gouache paint set. After that, I will show you a painting that I did. Um, it'll be a side-by-side -side comparison of how the paint reacts um, when you're actually working with it, and then we will dissect the final images. I have been using for a couple of months now this Karen Dash uh, tablet style gouache set. Um, I got this off of Amazon and there was no sale at the time. Um, it was $36.95 plus tax. And uh, right now I just checked their site and at the time of this video, it is uh, on sale for $33.50. Um, it comes with 14 different colors. Um, they call them tablets or pans on Amazon. It comes with a size eight round brush and it comes with one tube of white paint. Um, it is a nice metal tin. Um, it seals up perfectly, snaps shut. Uh, I would be comfortable traveling with this. Um, if you didn't want like a completely tiny set, if you were painting in plain air, or just wanted to travel with some art supplies, I would feel comfortable bringing this because everything dries completely, um, the tin is secure, and it's just a nice minimal setup. You can mix these colors to whatever your heart desires. Um, and you can also use the lid of the tin, which I have done, and you can probably see the color staining. You use it as a palette. It's been great. Um, so a little bit more information, and I'm just going to read here, um, summarize some of the things that I found on their site. Um, Karen Dash is a Swiss company. Um, they have been manufacturing these paints for quite some time, and they um, talk about their open air drying system, their natural vegetable binding. Um, they say that it resists cracking, and I have found that to be true. Um, I'll keep this open here and in frame so you can see. Um, I have found that to be generally true. Um, it is very smooth, it goes on evenly, it dries matte um, as gouache should. They don't use any plasticizers. Um, it, it's been a very pleasant painting experience. So that brings us to the Hemi Gouache Jelly Paint Set. I have another video that I'll link down below that is my initial unboxing and first impressions, but I'm just gonna share some of the details of this Jelly Gouache Paint Set in comparison to the Karen Dash tablet style or pan style gouache paint set. Um, so as you will see in my other video, uh, this comes in a plastic case. It is sealed on two sides, and um, they do say that it is very secure on their website. I have not found it to be very secure. Um, it doesn't bother me too much. I don't plan to travel with this set as it's pretty heavy, and I know that there are ways to rehydrate the paints if they do dry out. There's uh, plenty of videos on that. So as you can see, this set comes with 24 different colors. They come in these adorable little pots or cups of jelly paint. Um, their website, the parent company, is Maya, and the website doesn't really talk about uh, what they use in the paint. They say that it is non-toxic. They say that it is solvent-free and environmentally friendly. So these are all 30 milliliter or one ounce cups of gouache paint. I believe that you can buy replacement colors individually if you'd like. Um, I purchased them for $29.99 off of Amazon. At the time, there was a 10% off coupon. Today, I checked at the time of this filming and they are on sale for $26.99 before tax. There is another artist out there who did a review of her Maya or Himi gouache 
paint set and she lives in China and she said that they are super cheap there. So just by way of a price comparison between the two, there's roughly five to six US dollars difference. Um, depending on your use, if you would like to travel with the paint set versus just keeping it at home or in your studio. Um, if you're going to travel, I would recommend something a little more streamlined, like the Caran d'Ache paint set it is a lot lighter, it's not wet, the case is more secure. If you uh, don't like to mix the water in too much or you don't prefer these tablet style paints and you want to just get right to it, um, or if you like a more matte application or thicker paints, then I would definitely recommend this jelly gouache set. It's similar to the tube style gouache that you would just squeeze out, but it's just already out in the cup. If I could choose only one style of gouache paint between the two that I have here, and I'm saying this, it, it may just be my bias because I'm new to gouache and I started off with the Caran d'Ache and I've used it for a couple of months now, whereas the jelly gouache I've only used a couple of times, um, but I would choose the Caran d'Ache set. I feel like even when I mix the jelly gouache with water, the application is not as even. They both dry matte, um, they dry similarly, because they are, in essence, both the same style of paint. Um, but the Caran d'Ache seems to just go on smoother. I feel like I can layer it to get that more opaque look, um, and that I can also get a really nice transparent watercolor look as well. So I just felt like it was versatile. The Hemi sets come in all different sizes, and this one happens to have um, 24 different colors and I love that there is a lot of variety just for quick fun painting but I don't feel like it's entirely necessary. Um, this has the 14 basic colors um, and the white tube and I feel like you can mix them to your heart's content. Um, they even give you you know a few extras um, that you probably could have gotten to on your own as well. So now that I've talked about both of these gouache paint sets, um, I want to show you a little actual painting comparison that I did. I chose some of the Grateful Dead Dancing Bears because they are iconic and um, adorable and very similar to each other. They're just kind of in different colors and different poses. And so I drew out two different dancing bears and I painted one, the yellow one, with my Caran d'Ache set. I painted the green one with the Hemi Jelly Gouache paint set. And um, I will say I had expectations for the Jelly Gouache going into it, just my own fabricated expectations. I thought that it would be thicker, which it is. I thought it would be more matte and I thought that it would be a lot more even in application and that has not been my experience, but I also think that part of it is user error because the bear is the first thing that I have ever painted with this jelly gouache set and I found that um, using a palette knife, um, I had these condo set of five using the palette knife scraping it out on the palette and watering it down and um, using it properly i did feel like did give me a better and more even application um, but i still feel like there's some learning there for me to do so let's get to it okay so as you can see the a uh, yellow bear has the Caran d'Ache paint set image with my messy palette top up in the left hand corner and the green bear has my Hemi jelly gouache paint set up in the right hand corner and I wanted to do this side by side comparison video for you so that you could see just the process and application Granted, some colors, I don't know what it is, if certain pigments just show up more evenly and other ones are a little more clumpy, um, but the yellow seems to just be really even. However, I've found that the Caran d'Ache set really does have an even application 
um, and I feel like I'm able to control the opacity with the levels of water really easily, whereas I'm still learning how to do that with the Hemi gouache. Um, with the Green Bear, the first thing that I did, and you can't see it in this video, is that I was just going to use the green that they provided, and so I just dunked my paintbrush like a complete animal into the jelly gouache paint uh, pot. And so the application was just really chunky. It didn't glide very smoothly on my watercolor paper. It is um, 300 GSM watercolor paper in case you are curious. So it's not totally smooth like what you would find with computer paper, for instance. So I would like to say that I quickly realized that dipping the paintbrush straight into the paint pot was a, not a good idea. And so what I did was I took my palette knife um, and I scooped out a little bit of the green paint like a proper human being and I put it on the provided paint palette and mix it with a little bit of water. I felt like that was better. Um, Gouache in general does look different like most paints when it's wet um, and so I couldn't tell at that time if it was the way that the paint was going to be and it would all even out once it dried or if it was going to look pretty uneven. Um, and I feel like you can see with the green bear it is really uneven. The face is chunky, you can tell where the paint is thicker. Um, maybe there were like multiple applications or just more paint in general. Um, oh yeah, a ladybug. It was like I was painting in plain air and not in a studio. The black, the Hemi jelly gouache black, I will say, was actually, as much as I seem to favor the Caran Dash set, I loved using the black. You barely needed any. You mix it with water. It is like inky smooth. The color is so even, it's so easy to use, and I feel like you can see um, where I'm outlining that it's just a lot more even on the green bear than on the yellow bear. Going back to the yellow bear where I used my Caran Dash tablet style paint, um, the yellow was really smooth. I think on the blue portion of the bib or like fur. Um, you can see that it is a little bit uneven. It is also with the green bear, and I feel like that may just be a characteristic of gouache in general. It could be my technique, it could be uneven amounts of water mixed into the paint. I'm not really sure, I'm not a professional, but learning day by day. So now that you've seen um, some side-by-side -side painting, uh, I will say, and you may be able to tell as well, that it was a lot easier and quicker for me to paint the yellow bear. Um, once again, it could just be because I have more experience using the tablet style gouache paint than the jelly, um, but the green bear did take me longer. I found that I was um, hitting it with the green paint two, three times to see if I could smooth out the application, but you may know with gouache that you can reactivate it by mixing more water into it, so it is difficult sometimes to layer onto gouache to get a more opaque color because every time you hit it with the water again, it reactivates and then it spreads around and clumps up. At the time that I painted the yellow bear with the Caran Dash set, I left the blue a little bit uneven just because I felt like it was a good representation of how gouache can dry sometimes. I feel like if I would have gone after it again, I probably could have gotten a more even and opaque look, whereas I'm not as confident with the jelly gouache because I felt like when I reactivated it with water, it was more prone to clumping. I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but I am looking forward to working with it some more to see um, if I can get it dialed in. We're gonna switch now to still images of the finished dancing bears. 
just so that we can kind of zoom in and pick it apart a little bit and talk some more about the similarities and differences between the tablet style gouache and the jelly gouache. This is the first one that I painted. It is the yellow Grateful Dead Dancing Bear. Um, I use the Karen Dash tablet style paint, just as a reminder. Um, like I mentioned before, I feel like some of these black outlines are, um, they vary in thickness and um, they just come across like less clean. It's just harder to get a really smooth, clean, even line. Whereas with the jelly gouache, um, you can see here, it's just like a smoother, more continuous, even line. That was surprising because I felt like, um, as you can see here, it's really kind of uneven and chunky here. It's like lighter. This is where it was reactivated with the water and kind of spread around. Um, I wasn't expecting to be able to get even control out of the jelly gouache after my experience with the green and the blue but the black was like a dream. Um, and maybe I just need to be mixing these other colors similar to that. Maybe it has something to do with the pigment. I'm not really sure, um, but I felt like I had very good control with the black. Um, for the ears, it just kind of like filled in and pulled and then it dried super matte and nice. Um, whereas with the Karen Dash, you, can, you have to mix it. It gets a little bit globby and you're not really sure if on the end of your brush you have like a thicker chunk of um, paint or if it's like totally smooth or alternatively if it's too watered down and now it's kind of transparent where you want it to be solid. Um, so, you know, and then what I did, I had pencil outlines beforehand, so I'm basically just painting in the lines so and you'll notice here it's really hard to get to the edge of where the outlines were um, and you can see here that there's maybe a little bit of white in between the yellow and the black here here um, you know not trying to pick on myself but um, it's just something that I noticed whereas I felt like I had good control over the black I was able to um, it was really smooth and I was able to just follow my outlines and then fill it in from there. I will say with the blue, I feel like they are both a little chunky and uneven in application. Here you can see it was a little thicker. Here, a little more transparent. And the same for the green one, which I painted with the Hemi Jelly Gouache set. There's some thicker areas. I felt like um, it was kind of, I do feel like the jelly gouache kind of pulls and clumps up a little bit more than the tablet style gouache, but regardless, the effect is very similar that there are just more opaque areas and lighter areas. It's not entirely even. Um, if you go back, I have other videos that I have painted with my Karen Dash set um, of they were like originally digital art pieces that I then tried to reproduce by hand with paint. And I felt like I was able to get a really smooth and even application with those. Um, I would love to be able to do that with this jelly gouache set. I think it's just gonna take a little bit more practice. Um, so I'm going to do a solid at least 30 days with the jelly gouache and see if I can get a hang of it. So at the end of the day, I think that there are personally some clear pros and cons between uh, both the Karen Dash tablet style gouache and the Hemi Jelly Gouache paint set. Um, I love the even application and the versatility of the tablet style gouache. I love that it just is supposed to be dry at the end and um, it's okay if it dries out, you close it up and you're done. It's very mess free and maintenance free. Um, but I did really love using the black paint on the jelly gouache set. Once you go through the initial pains of opening it all up and organizing it, then it's all there and it's ready to go. You do still need water. I felt like I needed a couple of extra things like a palette knife um, just to scoop out some of the paint, but it is fun to use and I don't wanna to totally knock it yet because I think I need to give it a solid college try. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you join me on the next one and please remember to like, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions um, or some, something to add. That would be great. <laughs>